Okay, you Hallmarkies, I know that this is a really big time for Hallmark Channel right now, and I get so excited during this time of year because I absolutely love the Hallmark Christmas movies. There's just something about them that just makes me feel so warm and cozy, and I really, really, really love watching them during this time of year, and they give so many movies each year that honestly, I have to be picky with the ones that I really love because they come out with like 22 new movies every year and I can't love all 22 movies because then I can't watch them all each year. The other video did surprisingly well. Um, I didn't realize how many of you actually walk, watch the Hallmark channel and um, I just wanted to show you guys some of my top favorites and I thought it would be really fun this year to do a, a review of all the new Hallmark movies. They have 22 new Hallmark movies. I'm going to try my best to do a review of all of them. Um, I can... I'll see. I, I'll try my best. I'll probably review all the ones that are on the actual Hallmark channel. There is the Hallmark channel mystery uh, channel and I don't watch that one as much and I know that they have Christmas movies then too but I just, I don't know. I focus more on just the actual Hallmark channel itself. Another great thing that Hallmark is doing this year is I have a Countdown to Christmas app and it is extremely useful because like I said, they do come out with a lot of new Christmas movies and it is a little hard to keep track of and I'm sure you are just like me and you want to make sure you get to watch all of them so you don't miss a new favorite of yours. So they have this app and it's great because you can go to the movie that you've just watched and you've clicked. I've watched and then it will do a little check mark so it can keep track for you what you've watched and what you haven't watched yet. So throughout this video I will show you once I'm done talking about the movie how it works. First off I want to talk about the very first Christmas movie Christmas at Pemberley Manor and honestly it started out really early for me. I mean it was released before Halloween and I just can't get my head in the game before then. I gotta focus on Halloween. I believe it was October 26th that they started the countdown for Christmas and just that's just too early for me. Um, so I've been watching a bunch of them right now. I'm on like the eighth one right now but I'm only gonna talk about four um, to start with and I wanted to start with the very first one. I love Jessica Loudons. I think that's how you say her name. She's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. Like hands down so beautiful her eyes are just captivating absolutely captivating and then another actress i liked in this movie was i gosh i don't know her name but she was in the parent trap and she played the mean girlfriend of the twins and she's a great actress as well and i'm really glad to start seeing her in some of these movies really quickly i just want to tell you what the plot is about before we get into this and i tell you more of the details and what i think of it so the plot is elizabeth bennett is initially at odds with mr darcy who is the owner of pemberley manor which she intends to be the venue of her next event but soon finds herself irresistibly attracted to him of course. So as for the scale, I'm going to go from 1 to 5, 1 being not my favorite movie, and then 5 being absolutely love it, got to add it to my list. The format that I'm going by is the acting on a scale of 1 to 5, coziness of the movie, the town, what my favorite scene was, and then of course my overall decision of what I thought of the movie. So let's get into it. So as for the acting, I would give it a 3. Um, I love Jessica Loudons. I would give her a 4.5. Like, she's she's a great actress, but I'm not going to do, like, individual actors. Overall, I'd give the movie a 3. I thought it was good, but it wasn't great. I do think that they should have put in Caroline, the character Caroline, in the movie more. She is the actress I was talking about who played in The Parent Trap. I think that if the, she was in there more in the middle of the movie, that it would have been more captivating for me. I just felt like it was kind of slow throughout and then towards the end it really picked up because she became more involved and there's a little bit more drama. Whew, this candle is knocking me out my room. It is strong. Um so that's that's where I, I that's what I feel. So yeah, that's how I feel about the acting. Um as for the set decor, I thought the manor was absolutely beautiful and with the snow it just it brought that sense of coziness to me that I really needed. Um and I really just loved how intense she was about um planning this Christmas event and um I thought that the caretaker that looked like Santa Claus was a very nice touch because you obviously have to have that cheesy tie into Santa. Um, and then as for the town, the town of Lambden, I thought was very cute. I'd give the town like a 3.5. I mean, it wasn't my favorite town in any of the Hallmark movies, but 
it was good enough for me. As for the coziness of the movie, I'd give it a 3.5 as well. Um, I love the scenes with the Christmas tree lot. Um, I loved when they were decorating in front of the manor with all the white snow. And I think my favorite scene was at the very end where they kiss and the camera goes out. I just thought that was so cute. Overall, I would give this movie a three. I mean, I liked it. I, I mean, if it was on TV, I would watch it again, but it's definitely not on my top favorite list, and that's okay. I get to check this off of my list using my Countdown to Christmas app, and let's talk about Christmas Joy. Christmas Joy is about Joy Holbrook, and she is a corporate market researcher gunning for a promotion within her firm. Just as her company CEO is taking notice, Joy finds out that her Aunt Ruby she's really cute by the way, Aunt Ruby, has broken her ankle and will be undergoing surgery. Despite the less than opportune timing, Joy makes her way back into Crystal Falls, North Carolina to be with her aunt. Stars seem to align as Joy sees her former crush, Ben Andrews. Joy is focused solely on helping her Aunt Ruby heal, even taking over her position as chair of the local cookie crawl competition. Eventually, she begins to let Ben in and remembers there's no place like home for the holidays. The pair work together on the cookie crawl to make the event a success. Of course, there are some things that go wrong, so that is why you have to watch the movie. And as we all know, these movies end pretty tragically. Just kidding. We all know they, that they don't. But they're fun to watch, and I love this one. So let me talk more about it. I think out of the four, Christmas Joy is probably my favorite right now. Um, I definitely added it to my list. I love Danielle Panabaker. She is um, someone that I've noticed. She is from Disney Channel, and I just have a soft spot in my heart for people who are from Disney Channel. I just love the Disney Channel growing up, so I love seeing them in these Hallmark movies or just any recognizable actress to me. Um, and I, I do think she's a great actress. I think the acting in this movie overall would, would be a four. Um, I thought they were all pretty good, and I really enjoyed the, the um, love interests between the two actors. And I just thought they had a lot of great chemistry, which is important because in the next movie that I talk about, they didn't have great chemistry and, you know, it just kind of threw me off. Definitely give the set decor like a 4.4.5 4, 4, 4, four, 4. because they definitely made that effort to make sure that every scene had decorations in the background and I love that. I personally love to see that in all Christmas movies. Um, I just want it to always feel like Christmas at every scene. So they did a great job with that. The only thing that I was a little confused about was how much snow was in North Carolina because the town is placed in North Carolina and there was an awful lot of snow for North Carolina and I'm pretty sure that North Carolina doesn't get that much snow. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know. But apparently in the town of Crystal Falls, they get a lot of snow. Um, I thought Crystal Falls was a very cute town. I definitely would give it a four. Um, I don't drink coffee, but that little Main Street coffee shop in the movie was so cute and I would definitely go there and grab a tea. <laughs> kind of reminded me of Pumpkin Pie Wars. Um, I love the idea of a cookie crawl and I definitely want to implement that in my life somehow, some way. I thought that was really cute. The Gingerbread Bake Off was also really adorable. Super creative. Um, there was one point in the movie where the love interest broke an ornament and like her face just dropped and I felt like it was so relatable because who else has had ornaments that have broken and they meant so much to you and you're just like no why god why and you're just like trying to hot glue gun it back and it just it doesn't work so um that that part in the movie really got me and I was like I feel you girl I feel ya. Honestly, let me just bray it to it now. I think the movie was a 4, 4.5. Um, it is on my list. I did like it. Um, didn't find anything that I didn't really love about it. Um, it was just a little slower for me to not give it a 5, but overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was super cozy, and my favorite scene was when everyone was together in the kitchen helping Danielle Panabaker's character you know, get ready for this cookie crawl. It rem reminded me of when I am at home during the Christmas time and we do all those fun activities together. Also, I really took note that they played Joy to the World at the end of the movie and the main actress's name is Joy. Thank you for that tie-in. I saw it, I appreciated it, I loved it. So now I can check off Christmas Joy on my Countdown to Christmas Hallmark channel. The next movie I wanna talk about is Road to Christmas and 
honestly, it was a road to not my favorite movie. Um, I love being honest about things and what I love and what I don't like. And honestly, I had high hopes for this movie because Chad Michael Murray's in it and I love Chad Michael Murray. But what was wrong with the movie was the chemistry between him and his love interest. What I did actually really like about Road to Christmas was there were some parts of the movie where it turned into like a map and they took the car to like different places of where they were going. I thought that was a really great creative idea. I thought it was a really cute creative idea and I did think that was one of the best parts of the movie. I mean, I got some cozy vibes here and there, and they did have some Chris some really great Christmas decor. There were some scenes where I just thought they could have done a lot more with the decor. Um, my favorite scene was when they were pushing the snow into balls, making snowmen at, in, in like some competition. But honestly, I just kind of got lost. Like I started looking at my phone, and I just really wasn't in it. So. I don't know. The next movie is called It's Christmas Eve with Leanne Rimes and I am so glad that Leanne Rimes is now a part of the Hallmark Channel family because I think she is a great actress. Um, I really enjoyed watching her, this movie. Her name is Eve in the movie and I want to tell you what the plot is really quickly before we get into it. The plot is about an interim school superintendent, Eve Morgan, who finds herself in a tough, tough spot when she is assigned to shut down a school's failing music program and must come to terms with her musical past. I loved the chemistry between Leanne Rhymes' character and her love interest. I thought he was such a good actor. Let me see who it was really quickly. Uh, Tyler Haynes. I thought Tyler Haynes was a great actor. They were really cute in the movie and I thought that the movie had a lot of deeper meaning in it. I really loved the musical tie-in um, that they had in there. And the town was very cute. I give the town maybe like a four. Um, I thought the overall acting wasn't like a four too. I, this was it compared with Christmas Joy. Um, like they both weren't my favorites, but I definitely liked them and would watch them again. Um, acting was a four. Coziness was a four. I loved loved the Christmas decorations and the little town. There was snow everywhere. It was really nice. There was one scene though where she like goes in her room to check her computer and there wasn't Christmas decorations really in that room. And I'm like, you guys, couldn't you just took the laptop downstairs to where all the Christmas decorations were or at least put up some Christmas decorations in the room. I need the Christmas vibes. Um, obviously I'm a little picky with that and annoying with it, but yeah, I really like this movie. Um, I hope that she's gonna do some more Christmas movies. My favorite scene from It's Christmas Eve is when Eve's mom's boyfriend writes her a song and learned to play the guitar. And I don't know if he wrote her a song or he just sang her a song, but I just thought that was a really, really sweet gesture. And I thought that was a really cute scene. I enjoyed it and all the candles everywhere was so beautiful. So that was my favorite scene of the whole movie. And I'm glad to finally check this off and watch more Hallmark movies. There are so many to come. I want to know what you guys think. So make sure you comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my channel and my videos. Um, sometimes I forget to do that as well. So I just like to remind you. Um, also like this video because I want to make sure that my content is something that you love to watch and by liking it or commenting on it, it tells me if I should continue to make that